hello. Morning. Morning. Are you knitting already? I am. Come on, girl. Hop on in. The weather's fun. Okay, the plan today. Wait, before you start talking, is this a knit row? Yes. <laughs> You're so good. That is so good. The plan today, Brooke's two friends from home are in town and we might go to the beach with them. But for now, we are knitting in Megan's bed. Megan's gonna go live yeah. on TikTok. What did everyone get into last night? This girl, Jennifer, I found on Tumblr. Okay, tea. Need a hangover cure. Okay, girl, this is what you're gonna do. You're going to get an ice cold coat, like immediately. So if you could elaborate on what type of hangover you're having. Wait, fuck, am I supposed to be decreasing? You need to go to the gym. Oh, I posted a new sweater that I made on my Instagram. My tag me sweater, which I'm releasing a pattern for. Megan took my photos last night at the grocery store. Just right? another yeah. manic Saturday. And then we have a birthday party this evening. For a really, really, really <laughs> insane person. Imagine you're six years old. You tell yourself that you're going to go to this person's birthday party. You are going to shit your pants was thinking that maybe you could like insert a picture of him. Oh. Six years old, you're gonna go to this person's birthday party. Okay? You're gonna freak the fuck out. Well, it's actually not that weird that we're going because our friend works for him. So like, it's not that strange. There's a reason as to why we're gonna be there. Well, also there's another person that's RSVP'd yes to this party. If I see her tonight, y'all are gonna have to just start digging my grave. Imagine you're 10 and you see this woman. No, like literally me, hi, me. Imagine you're 10 and you see this woman at a birthday party that you're invited to for this guy. I would be in a full-fledged 30-year coma. Right. There used to be a picture of her on, on several pictures of her on that wall. That Is that night. her in the upper left? Very strange. We're living in weird fucking weird times. Weird times. No, I'm not lucky, I'm blessed, yes. That's how I'm feeling these days. It's 90s themed, which is even funnier because it's him. Yeah. I don't have any 90s themed anything in my closet. We do though. I like was... you just don't think it's 90s because now it's like back in style. Besides a tracksuit, I don't have any 90s. Like my closet is very 70s. Okay, it's 90s themed. Guess what? I was born in the 90s. That's my theme. I'm gonna be coming in a diaper. Wah, wah. That's my 90s. Aw, you're such a 90s kid. <laughs> That's so crazy that you were in the 90s for three years. You remember it so vividly, right? Yeah, I, well, at least I've had formative memories at three. But you only start, to, like, truly remembering your life starting around three or four. Right, and I remember things from when I was three. Okay, great. So I remember the 90s, babe. Okay, well, I also remember the 90s. Right, did you enjoy the 90s for your four years? Yeah, because Or your I'm... three years and some change? Um, well, I am older than you, right? So I think I was actually in the 90s longer than you. Yeah, three years and some change. Great, so if we're talking like, oh, like, who's the bigger 90s kid? Me. Oh, shut up. I love being, like, the biggest 90s kid in this room. Like you're such a fucking loser. Bye, turn the camera off, I'm done. In the words of Brooke, the best way to get yourself to go to the gym is to bankrupt yourself. So you feel so guilty that you have to go every day to get your money's worth. So I am currently bankrupting myself. Mm-hmm, me as well. Mm-hmm. Like, I joined first, by the way. That's the only way I'm gonna get fit, is if I like spend way too much way money too much. on a membership. That's what we always say. We're always like, oh, you're feeling down? Get Sweat sash. You're feeling down? Sw Sw Oh, you're, you're feeling, feeling down? down? Sweat, Sweat sesh. sesh. Pending. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're feeling down? <laughs> <laughs> what we always say is, oh, <laughs> you're feeling down? Sweat, Sesh, Pending. <laughs> SSP. Oh, you're, you're feeling down? Sweat, Sesh, Pending. We do always say that. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the cameras. Oh, oh, hi, baby. Good morning. Wait, I, your hair just, looks really cute. It's like back oh, in the day. I was just a gym rat and had fucking protein powder with milk. S fucking okay, gain season. <laughs> oh my god, are you taking creatine? <laughs> yeah, baby. Wait, I can't get over how cute. I love your hair in a ponytail. I look like, like my mom when my hair is in a ponytail. Like yeah. yeah, you look like such like a gym girl today. Like this little this little tank. My bra. body thinks the same. Yeah, <laughs> and the gains just keep coming. <laughs> What was your sauna experience? Thick. What is good? What was your sauna experience? Hot. Okay, so thick and hot. Thick and hot. Okay. And juicy. Um, juicy okay. And sexy and so. Uh, me. Thick and, thick hot, and hot and juicy and, juicy and, and me. And mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. You are. I know, babe. I'm getting my eyebrows done because I used to get my eyebrows done like religiously, like every four weeks, six weeks, whatever. And mm -hmm. now I kind of clean them up myself. Fundamentally, kind of like a fundamental reshaping appointment. You mm -hmm. know? So that's what today is. A fundamental reshaping appointment. Here's the before. Yeah. Aruna's gonna do my brows. Aw, Aruna. Yay. Here's the after. Ooh. Ooh. It looks so much better. Only $12 and it took two seconds. The best $12 in West Hollywood. I know that's for damn sure. No, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> babe, I'm more than $12. <laughs> no, no, babe. I told you, you're not allowed to say that. You're not allowed to say that I'm cheap. It's expensive to be me. Put that in there. It's, it's expensive to be me. It's expensive to be me. That's as much as we can do without <laughs> copyright. <laughs> is to clean these new piercings that I got. I got my doubles pierced at studs. And this is a cowboy boot and this is just like a little star. I wanna get more piercings, but I have to do two at a time there. They only let you do two. So I got my doubles and then I'll get more cartilage piercings, but that's a new thing. I decided that I'm going to sell this tag me vest that you see hanging behind me, the one that I posted earlier on Instagram. I just have so many sweaters and I also just have so many clothes in my closet, which is another issue and I need to clean out my closet, but I have so many sweaters and knitwear is thick and takes up so much space and I just need to sell it, you know? Like the Coachella vests that I made are like more specific and I don't think I'll sell those because those to me are like more art and less clothing. Whereas this, I feel like you could, like a, anyone could just wear this around. You can't wear James Charles assless chaps every day. I mean, you could, I guess. This one just feels a little bit more accessible. You know what? I, I can use some money and also I would love for a follower to have it. And you know what? If I want it, I can remake it, but I'm going to sell it because I don't know. I'm kind of experimenting with selling some of my stuff. I've sold to friends, but I'm trying to experiment with selling to the public. So this will be the first vest that I sell just openly. If you don't try, you'll never know. And we just need to see what the reaction is. So I listed on my Instagram, a little countdown saying that it's going to go live on my Etsy. So I need to list it right now. I said it's going to go live in 15 minutes and I haven't made the listing. So I'm going to make the Etsy listing and I'm praying that it sells immediately. And then I need to make lunch. So, okay. I need to focus and make this listing. I'm listing it in like 30 seconds. I'm really scared. I feel bad because I wish I could sell them for like a hundred bucks. But like the time it takes to make them, I can't sell them for a hundred bucks because then it's just like I'm not being paid for my work, which just like sucks about like handmade things, but it's like I have to list it for more than that. I hope someone buys it. Hitting publish. Okay, well it's been up for 20 seconds. Can someone buy it? I mean, I'm just feeling awfully embarrassed. It's been 30 seconds and no one's purchased it yet. Is that making any sense at all? I thought this was gonna be really cool. I thought that like I was gonna like hit record and I'd list it and then immediately someone would buy it, but I guess not. I don't know why I thought that would happen. I guess because I get DMs all the time of people being like, I want to buy this. I want to buy this stuff. So I'm like, okay, well, if this many people are DMing me saying they want to buy my stuff, then if I announce, then like it'll sell immediately. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll go make lunch because I'm tired of sitting around here. Don't people understand I'm trying to start a small business here? We should be supporting small businesses. And that means buying my vest. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go make lunch because a watched pot never boils. YouTube has not seen my wrap that I make every day for lunch. I've shown TikTok and I've shown Instagram, but I've not shown YouTube. So you guys get the privilege of seeing me make my wrap.
Miss Megan's room, of course. Her tummy hurts. Yeah. And what am I supposed to do? Eat alone? Yeah. So I'm gonna have to eat in her bed. And then I'm gonna have to knit in her bed. And then I'm gonna have to nap next to her. What am I supposed oh, to do? No. All those things alone? I mean, no, I would never. I literally would never ask you to do that. No. This is insane. Also, you have to eat this wrap with a Coke. And then for dessert, which people were fucking telling me it's not dessert. It is dessert. I'm having a few dates. It's a little lunch dessert. It's mm -hmm. nothing crazy. I'm not gonna have ice cream for lunch. Coke Zero, better than Diet Coke, sorry. And that's what I've eaten every day for the past month. Ooh. Megan and I just took a big fat nap right there. Fat nap. Yeah, yeah, we took a fat nap right there. Oh, we've been missing you, or at least since and the guess last what? time. What? Guess what? Well, we were taking a fat nap. Sarah was yeah. taking one too. Miss Burn. Miss Burn. <gasps> Oh my God, Miss <gasps> Burn. Miss Sid. Oh. <laughs> Let me see your hair. Oh, I love oh, it. it. I love this robe too. It's like good hotel robe. I have a really nasty, suspicious yellow stain on it, but. <laughs> oh. Surely you guys understand we have to go to Trader sure, Joe's. you get it, babe. You understand. What are you gonna get? We're at my boyfriend's house. I'm getting a pizza. And a breakfast burrito for tomorrow's hangover. I'm getting pizza. I'm getting hash browns for tomorrow. And maybe a little bit of prosciutto. Come okay. as a DJ. Delicious. Nobody panic. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Do the hash browns, babe? Oh, this <gasps> can't be the case. No. Wait, this literally can't be the case. I'm gonna. Nope. Oh, what am I supposed to eat? Why don't you just get potato tops? That's like a good. I know same. it's not the same, babe, but I'm trying to help. This is why we don't trust men. No, no. Sorry. Oh, Megan did just tell a Trader Joe's <laughs> wearing a gobble gobble sweatshirt saying, I, I just like to raw, raw dog. dog the prosciutto. You know how Trader Joe's, Joe's employees, they have to flirt with you legally. I have a pack of like a mixed pack, a variety pack of prosciutto. And he goes, oh, are you going to put this on your pizza? And I go, oh, like I wasn't planning on it. And he goes, you should, that sounds really good. And I said, you know, I really just raw dog that straight out of the I fridge. raw dog that meat, I think is what you said. <laughs> you said, I like to raw dog meat. I didn't see. I got ready. This is the look. It's a 90s theme, of course. I'm just wearing black booties. I'm doing this purse. I'm kind of tempted. Oh, sorry. I'm vlogging today. Thank God. Hi, vlog. That wine just went down bad. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. This is my best friend from growing up, Jen. And then Camille. This is Camille, who's been in my look vlog. It's that true. A year, a year ago. One year ago. Hey, vlog. Happy to be back. And this is Kat. Yeah. We know Kat. Bye. Cheers! Hey! It's me and Jen, Conan's two favorite girls. Put a picture of Conan, like, right here. Yeah, please. Okay. Aww. <laughs> if anyone thinks Brooke looks like Danielle Heim, please let me know in the comments. You're looking so good. Francesca's going to stay for a sleepover, but first she's gonna show us a back bed. Oh fuck, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Frankie, are you okay? Good job, babe. Oh, I'm more than fine. I just, give me, wait, let's do the morning. Shut it off. <laughs> Hi, my name is Francesca Del Pinto, and it is May 1st, and I'm gonna do a back bed. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm scared I'm gonna hurt myself. It's okay, babe. You can say bye. That was unfortunate. Rolling! Hey, vloggy babies. Well, first of all, what you're gonna actually have to do is you're gonna have to follow me on TikTok. Go ahead. Come over and hop in on the butt over there on TikTok. 
Um, don't forget to save the day, always, and love ya. Do you want to see your handle? Oh, just want to sell it or we'll put it right there. No, I don't want to do that. That's so much work. Can you just say it? Find me and tag me in one of Sally Dar's videos.